collective. <clears throat> I just want to um, sit here and have a conversation this morning. Very, um, organically. With my coffee and my cigarettes, and I don't give a fuck. It's 5.30 in the morning. That maybe seemed a little harsh, but it is what it is. I didn't sleep last night. Thank you, full moon. I didn't even get to see it. My partner was out just about all night long. He didn't get home until shit, 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning. He came home messed up. He says he was drunk. Who knows? It's all part of this karmic situation that I'm soon going to be out of. Um, anyway, and I just wanted to sit on here and kind of just ramble for a moment because I'm feeling something. I'm not even sure what the hell I'm feeling. I pulled out. Oh, I started cleaning this table off, but I've got to wash the tablecloth because it's covered in incense ash. Yeah, maybe I'll do that today. Maybe I'll go and get a new tablecloth. Split the deck on death and rebirth. And balance. From the dark to the light. That which is hidden in the dark will be revealed by the light. <clears throat> balance, stability, and standing firm. Yeah, I think that this... Um, eclipse season, and I'm going to say season because we have more eclipses coming in October. This full moon, the planetary alignment that's going on, Neptune and Pisces, everything is really forcing us to see that which was hidden in the dark. also giving us clarity and opening our heart yeah I think a lot of you in the collective are going through very similar awakenings as what I have been going through recently and that is the return to ancient wisdom and reclaiming your power You guys are fucking amazing. Yeah, so yesterday in yesterday's collective message, um, yesterday's collective message talked about New Earth and how, you know, we're returning to the New Earth. The timeline split yesterday. I was thinking about the, um, 
144,000 and I don't think people recognize that the journey of the 144,000 is bigger than what you're actually led to believe what you've been indoctrinated to you have to understand like this new age movement that we're seeing at the present moment is um it's just more religion it's just more indoctrination it's just more control new age for Christ's sake spirituality was here on this planet before religion was ever invented and religion was invented by men they took women completely out of the equation and women are the creators So I don't know why I'm going this way, but I'm just going to keep on going. The 144,000. There's actually 288,000 of us. And the mission is for each of us to find our twin, because this is also a twin journey is to find our twin on whatever timeline we happen to be on and unify. Once we're unified, then it becomes the 144,000. And every generation, and there could be three or four generations living on this earth at one time, a prime example of that would be my grandmother has children. Those children had children. Those children had children. And there are currently four generations living in my family right now. Each one of those generations The chosen ones of those generations have a divine partner that they are to come into union with. The 144,000 absolutely has to do with the twin flame journey. When Christ walked on this earth, he came together with Mary Magdalene. That was Jesus's. Twin. They often said that Thomas was the twin. Thomas doubting Thomas. And if you want to get technical about it, even Christ has a twin, the Antichrist. We can't <clears throat> we can't do God's work without realizing that we have to come into unity. We have to realize the unity of everything, the connect the connection to everything. It may just be I'm feeling slightly jaded because I commented on a video the other day by somebody that I watched and said, you know, because I've recognized that my soul fractalized so much in my past lives. And while I'm doing my healing and my past life healings, There's a whole psychology to it, but while my higher self, my soul is coming back into unity with itself and I'm jumping timelines, I'm recognizing that I have known more than one twin throughout this journey because I keep skipping over timelines and changing timelines. I think now I'm finally on the one I'm supposed to be on.
Yeah, okay. Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> Two of Cups, and the High Priestess. Coming together in unity, recognizing who you are, and creating the new earth. And that's what the 144,000 chosen ones is all about. So sorry I'm laughing but I was this morning I was trying to figure out you know like even our days of the week even the days of the week are so fucked up <coughs> Sunday Sunday S O N Sunday Monday Moon Day Tuesday Tears Day Wednesday Woden's Day Odin's Day Thursday, Thor's Day, Friday, Freya Day, Saturday, Saturn Day, Satan's Day, and then we go back to the sun and the moon. Walk away from... If you're on this path, you need to be walking away from uh, every single belief <clears throat> that you hold within your heart. Walk away from it because Spirit's going to give you a whole brand new vision of what the reality of the situation is. These eclipses, these full moons, the planetary conjunctions that are going on. Even Pluto in reverse, seriously, or not reverse, Pluto's retrograde this week. Um, I don't know how long it stays that way. But all of it, all of it's like um, a sword is being used. I want to read something for you. It's like a sword is being used to slice open the veil that haunts our reality, that keeps everything hidden from us. Um, while I was sitting here this morning, I was thinking about the second coming. And then I heard, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And then I was brought to Revelation 19 verses 11 through 16. But since I don't see the Bible the same way everybody else does, I want to read this for you. In a vision I beheld the heavens unfold, revealing a figure astride a white steed. This being, known as faithful and true, emanated righteousness and waged war justly. Tuesday, Tears Day. Their eyes blazed like flames, crowned with many unknown names. Because the unification of the 144,000 is what is bringing the hammer down on everything. Many unknown names because the names change as we change. Clad in a robe stained with significance, they embodied the essence of the divine word, Christ consciousness. Alongside them, celestial hosts adorned in pure white followed, riding on ethereal horses, our spirit teams, our guides, our angels, the archangels, the deities that we worship. From their lips emerged a sharp sword symbolizing the power to transform. They ruled not with force, but with the gentle sway of universal harmony. 
Their very presence symbolized the culmination of divine justice. Engraved upon their being, the inscription read, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Do not your own scriptures say that you are gods? Do not your own scriptures say that even you are God? I am that I am. I am that I am. I am. <laughs> What is the great mystery? Understanding that you are. Say it. I am. Reading a book. It's not this one sitting on the table, The Universal Christ, but I recommend that also for everybody. I'm currently reading a book about, um, there was a man who went to Israel and he, uh, Jesus came to him in a vision while he was in one of the hot springs. My cup runneth over is a very powerful affirmation, and I recommend everybody say that every day. My cup runneth over. Mm-hmm. As we're transforming... And we now have the freedom and the liberty to go in new directions and transform our lives as we currently see it. And to all you women out there, you don't know how powerful you are. Beauty and grace... A Glock 9 and Mace. <laughs> yeah. This is your journey to the moon and back. Man, I love you guys so much. I'm so glad that I began this journey and started to connect with all of you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the energy that this full moon is bringing yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Take it in. Love it. I love you guys. Bye.